Welcome back to Valley of the Mist Block of the Month. I'm Adrian Ritter. And I'm Shelly McNeely. And we are here to demonstrate how to create our block for September 2019. Um, and this is an improv version of the Broken Dishes block. <clears throat> so for those of you that have been sewing along with us all year, we're actually going to be using um, pretty much a segment that a, a portion of what we did in the May block right. and making the whole block kind of out of that portion. So right. so while we're doing triangles, it, it's not going to be anything new to you. You should be familiar with this. Right, that's true. So, Shelly, do you remember what we need this month? Okay, let me move this out of the way. Oh yeah, and I'll move mine. Yeah, we, and, and, no, I, I, and just so, in case you didn't notice, we did two different versions. Um, they look different, but both look great. Okay, the first thing is our focus fabric is Modern Movement by Henry Glass, and you need one four and a half inch square block. And then you have your coordinating fabric, which is any color that's inside within the focus fabric, and you need four of the four and a half inch square blocks. And then you have a gray fabric, and you need three of those four and a half inch square blocks. And then there's white, and you'll need eight of those four and a half inch square blocks. Okay, so I do want to comment here. Um, you know, try to use some of your scraps. If the pieces are, you know, slightly off from four and a half inch square, it, it's probably fine. We, we do make these oversized because of the cutting technique that we are going to demonstrate in just a minute. Um, we have to have a little oversized because depending on how you make your cut could right. could change the size of the block a little bit drastically. Right. And before we get any further, I want to remind you all that the written instructions for this block are on the Valley of the Mist Quilt Guild's website and in our newsletter. And okay. if you are making these for the Guild, I think I already said they're due at the October meeting. Um, and if you're not making them for the Guild, just making them for yourself, just, you know, use what fabrics you want and um, right. have, a, have a fun time with it. So, okay. remember, we're improv piecing this year, so we try to do a lot of it that is kind of more freeform. Right. And so one of the first freeform steps in this block is how you make your half square triangles. You want to describe how we're going to lay these out? Okay. So, <laughs> so it, it sounds complicated. But really, um, you're gonna you're gonna free cut these triangles, and and because you can be, you know, inaccurate on that cut and go a little bit off center or whatever, um, the blocks that you cut at the same time, you need to match up the other sides. Okay, so it, it doesn't really matter the order exactly. This is just an easy way to kind of make sure that you keep the ones you cut together, together. Right. So we have you stack four pieces, four of these um, four inch squares together and stack them all right sides up. This is important, make sure the right side's up because it's too easy to accidentally flip them because yeah. uh, we've done it, trust me. So I would say, for example, stack two white and two gray. And, and you always want, um, because the whites go with the other fabric. Right. You want an equal number of the whites as whatever other fabrics you have in there. Right. If you feel comfortable cutting more than four at a time, go for it. I'm just going to tell you, I'm, I'm pretty good at cutting quite a few pieces together, <sighs> but without a ruler, you're not going to use a ruler to hold it down and yeah. keep it from moving. More than four pieces can get a little bit tricky. Yeah. So, um, so you're going to layer two white, two of one of the colors, or vice versa. Right. And then you're gonna make the cut like Shelly says, and then we have you take from one side the top two pieces and just switch them around. And so now you have, now, okay. you've, uh, now you have alternating fabrics. Okay, I kinda, I'll demonstrate that. I have two whites, and then I'm gonna put two grays together. These right, are all right sides right up. Right sides up. Okay, so we'll see if I can get through four. And she's going to be careful not to cut her fingers, keep them away from the blade, but you do you do need to help a little hold it down or else it, it'll kind of 
Yeah. S it'll slide a little bit. I'm not going to start on the end because that's a little trickier to hold it. So I'm going to kind of start and guess where the middle is and kind of go towards the diagonal corner. Hopefully I went through. Now I'm going to turn it and start where I left off the, on the other and go to the other opposite corner. Okay, so now and that now <coughs> and that is actually it works. Good job, Shelley. <laughs> Good innovation on this because I just started the corner and it kind of gets all bunchy. I know. And so as you can see in here, like like this this um this piece right here when it was pieced together, it's way off center. Whereas um hmm oh this one I do have one that's very close to being centered. But we can yeah. That's but part of the next cutting operation, right, too. Right. You know, the the if you remember from May when we did this, when we have you square them down to the right size, they're going to stay off-center, just right. because we don't really let you make them centered. So um, after so you cut these, then you take these two on top, put them underneath, and now you have what you have to sew together. Those are the those four pieces are going to need to be sewn together. Right. Keep those ones together and then right. do the next do it for all of the 16 right pieces of of 4 inch squares that you have. Right. Um and it's the, always wide against one of the other colors. Yeah. And um the ultimate goal is that we're going to end up with um with three and a half inch square pieces that are going to go four by four on this block. Right. So you do have some extra room. So when you sew these um, triangle pieces together um, down that center seam, right. um, maybe we should make that clear, but uh, when you sew that together, uh, a quarter inch seam is not required at this point, but that's the last step where you can be a little loosey goosey on your quarter inch seam. But Try to be close Try because be close. then your trimming, trimming will probably go a little easier and you know you have plenty then. Right. Okay, so we are going to um, finish cutting our pieces in half and sewing all of these half square triangles together. So when we come back, we will have 16 um, pieces. They're not trimmed. They're just going to be 16 of these right. uh, half square triangles sewn together. And you should end up with the same number of gray, um, two of the focus fabric, and six, uh, six gray. Well, but could you start with, yeah. Because you started with three. Yeah. So you, end so up you with have six. six gray and what? Eight. Eight, eight of the coordinating fabric right. and two of the focus fabric. Right. So, um, all right. So we'll, we'll be back after we've sewn those together. All right. So we have sewn our half square triangles together. Um, I did kind of forget to mention one thing. Um, when you're piecing and sewing together these half square triangles, because you've cut them kind of weird, the, that center seam may not want to match exactly. Just right. try to do your best, kind of push it over a little as you sew. Um, but you know, you can always take a little bit extra right. seam. You don't have to be an exact quarter inch seam while you're sewing to make sure but you that have you plenty do. plenty yeah. of plenty of make sure you didn't miss on the bottom side and totally miss sewing somewhere or something because it's they didn't line up right okay so now the next step that we do and this is like we did before in may is i'm going to have you do these um so you should have 16 of these half square triangles and we're not even concerned with the layout other than there should be a white with some sort of color in every one of them. And I'm gonna have you take a group of four, any four, and I want you to, to um, I want, I'm, I'm gonna force you to not let them get centered. And so I'm gonna line up a corner right up here, and I'm turning it as I do it, so, so I don't have a big lump in the middle, um, which can kind of be a problem when you're trimming half square triangles with that lump. So I'm just getting that corner um, doesn't really matter because these are oversized. Okay, so I've got four stacked together. And, and when I do that, and so I, I have another ruler, and I'm just going to take this ruler and I'm going to lay it on here. And 
kind of with a scant amount. I mean, not 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 tiny, tiny, but try to keep it around a quarter inch on, on the outside. And I want you to trim off these two edges. Okay, so you're gonna be left with two rough edges and two trimmed edges. And I've done that on, on these ones already. Okay, so I trimmed, I trimmed this outer edge. And then the next step, you take the, the blocks, the, the four pieces, and you turn them, just turn them, um, so now you have the rough edges at the top and you have the nice clean cut edges down there. And you need a, a three and a half inch square up ruler, or like me, I don't have one, but I have a four and a half and I just took some blue painter's tape and I blocked off the part that I don't care about. And I, um, oh, which way am I going? <laughs> I put that down in the cut corner like that and and I lined it up and then what's left you can see there's almost there's over a quarter of an inch in some places like a half inch and I'm going to trim that off okay and so you've got plenty there um, even if you have a, a kind of a funny small piece which I, I had on one of these I, I think I've already trimmed it though and and then you're going to end up with with a stack of three and a half inch square pieces which as you look at them, because you weren't really looking at them and you couldn't, you couldn't make them <laughs> perfect. Now you can see they are um, half square triangles that are a little bit wonky, which is what we want. Right. So um, that's this, that's, that seemed to me the simplest way yeah. to show you how to trim these up. Yeah. So I want you to trim all your blocks. And then when we come back, we're going to talk about the layout of the block and Trust me, you're going to want to use um, your cell phone or something so you can take pictures and look at your layout and go back and refer to it and um, maybe even do a few versions of the layout to see which one you really like best. All right, All right so we're going to trim our, our uh, three, down to three and a half inch squares and we'll be right back. Okay, so you can see that we have trimmed our half square triangles and we've done a rough layout playing around with the layout. So Shelly, right. what's the process? I mean, we got 14 and we have 16 half square triangles I here. Know, it's it, kind of overwhelming. It is. And we we kind of thought, well, what's an easier way to approach this? And we thought, okay, just, just approach it as groups of four. Then you have end up with four groups. And you want to lay them so that you never have two whites laying against each other. It always has, because you have all these colors, except every one has white on it. So it doesn't matter how those go, as long as the whites are never laying against another white. So, so to do that, way, you end up with two colors touching in the center and two whites touching in the right. center. Right, it could be either way. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Either well, it mean, ends, yeah. One, yeah. Of, one of them's two whites and the other's two colors. Yeah, so. and they don't, and they're obviously not right next to each other, they're diagonal from right. each other. And as long as you do that, and now, now, I mean, we have put this out, laid it out, and looked at the whole block. But but when I did this one, I I laid it out and I did my four groups, and then actually I sewed. I did the next step where I sewed two and two together, and then I I changed my mind and I right. turned it. So that's the nice thing about sewing, putting them in these little right. subsets of four. You can still turn them, and the and the block is okay. Right, um, which is kind of nice because ap after you got these together, you kind of can't go wrong once you put the rest of it together. Right. I mean, if you if you um, do it like rows across, then you still could, could, could yeah. really mess up. Yeah. And yeah. you don't have enough. You don't have as many options to. Um, make changes in how the look is it, right. as you get closer. Because right. when they, when you finally sew them together, they look a little different. I mean, there, there's, there's you'd think, how many different choices do I have? But you know, really, there's a lot. There are, even though it seems like there's a lot of, like your coordinating color, but still, there's a lot of different ways to arrange it. And you know, yeah. that probably all look good, so. And, and if you're like me and, um, you know, not, really focusing my life on art quilting I most quilting is fairly symmetric and I and I like cement symmetry <laughs> I was talking to Shelly before 
And so when I was doing this one, it kind of bothers me to have it not be symmetrical. And so I kind of found a way, even though it's not exactly symmetrical, it, it's more so. I don't live by those rules. Yeah. So it, it just, it, but, but you, you have total freedom to how you want to lay these out as long as you follow the broken dishes block layout, which is... The, the two of the neutral fabric and the two of your more colorful fabrics. The tips. Uh, tips touch. touching. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to sew together these four groups and then we will come back and talk about whether we want to make some changes and how we, you know, by rotating them, switching them around. I mean, to be honest, you can't see what we've actually decided on yeah. mine. Another thing we grabs. forgot to mention, actually, at this point, we'd already pressed them to the dark oh, yeah. and after this it's going to get trickier and you just have to go with how we think it's going to work right and you because, may have to repress yeah. um I, I definitely did definitely yeah. when you're when you're um finishing these half square triangles uh when you press them open press to the dark side um to the darker fabric and uh that helps you not have right too many you, you are going to have some weird um overlapping right. sometimes because these blocks are not centered you right. know so you may have a seam that's not in the center and so it, it right. kind of might hit funny but don't worry about it yeah. just just try not to go with it yeah just try not to flip your seams um keep yeah. them straight and do your best and okay. we'll be right back all right so we have our four patch our four four patch pieces sewn together right um and we have them laid out how we think is going to be our final layout. I mean, we still can change it, but Shelly had, um, Shelly went wild and crazy on hers. I did, and it's probably not what I looked like I had before because, because yeah. As she admitted, doesn't... she forgot to take a photo of I hers. I did. I didn't. I had, a photo, I had a photo of mine, and as I was going, I kept referring to it and making <laughs> sure I was using my little clips color-coded to keep them the right, the right edge out that I was sewing. But, you know, Shelly is I, a free spirit. I, I sewed all the edges together right. It's more arranging this together, yeah. but, yeah. Okay, so, you know, if you goof up, you still are not allowed to um, do what Shelly was trying to do and put three colored pieces <laughs> together in the middle. It's got to be two white and two colored. Because you can turn and, these and it'll be wrong. So you have to still turn them to make right. them. Make so sure right, you have up right. two, yeah. two white there op on opposites and two right. other colored ones. Right. So, you know, and, and I once again, I also forgot to mention that these last sections, after we sew those together, remember, you need to use a quarter inch seam because they're not oversized anymore. As soon as we cut them down to three and a half inches, yeah. you had to have a good seam allowance and, in order to end up with a 12 and a half inch square block. Because we're not really squaring up this time. We're going to press it into submission if we have to. That's right. And <laughs> so we're going to go away and we are going to sew these. Now, the way I like to do it, and, and actually when I was um, pressing these, I was I was um, looking at what I thought my final layout would be. And Whoa, I pressed you're looking them, that far I ahead. I pressed them <laughs> so that the seams would um, lock together and not I didn't. interfere. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, so... I would, my suggestion is to sew two and two, press them open opposite ways, and then sew that center seam together. Right. And uh, so we're going to do that. And when we come back, we should have our finished blocks and we will prove to you that they are a 12 and a half inch. <laughs> Won't we, Shelly? Of course. Because Shelly did some interesting cutting that she didn't talk about. Not too small though, so she we made them too big. They she, were okay. Somehow she trimmed her three and a half inch squares a little large. Well, it's just like the issue when we were talking about doing on that last step. It, it is a little bit hard to do four layers of all those weird seams. So, that's, yeah. yeah, yeah. So she did have to do some supplemental it's, trimming. It did. Yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll uh, have these ready for you. Okay, so we've got our final blocks. And um, they look wonderful. Yes. All four of them look completely different. But like I said, we were gonna prove to you that they're big enough. 
So, um, okay. mine is. How about yours, Sally? Sally was a little nervous about hers because she she was fighting a seam. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I think so. I think we're good. Yep. All right. So, um, this is your improv broken dishes. You can almost say this is like. Um, we picked this one because we knew we were moving. <laughs> we haven't had any broken yeah, dishes. <laughs> Pretty lucky. Yeah. Pretty lucky. Yes. Okay. So um, anyway, we're done with the block. It looks great. Don't forget, get your Eleanor Burns tickets. Uh, she's coming to talk to the Guild the night before our quilt show, right? Um, which is the first Saturday of October. October. So she's speaking... I'm guessing the first Friday of October. I wish I could tell you the date. <laughs> I don't have that in my head. No, I don't remember. No. But um, we will hopefully see everybody at the next field meeting yes. and enjoy the rest of your summer.